Chomsky. you can Chomsky. tell if an Asian guy really likes you, he'll like peel this shrimp for you. A little going on everybody welcome to a very very special thai episode of fung bros food today we are in bangkok thailand and i'm here with ab what's good i got new york native and colombian in thailand we got liz hi guys my name is liz i've been out here for about a year and a half now but i have not been to this market and i'm super excited to try it out and on my right joining us we have Asa Wang. Hi, my name is Asa Wang, and I am here to show you guys today the Talat Chua Mong, which basically means the market in the corner. I'm not half Thai, though I'm half Chinese, but I've lived in Thailand for many years. Man, we're definitely in for a treat because every time you come to Thailand, no matter where you get the food, from the street market level to the restaurant level, it's always on point. You seen the seafood out here? Yo, I've seen some seafood I've already never seen before. Yeah. So, you know what? I'm very excited. Okay, Asa, how do I say I'm very, very hungry? in Thai. Oh, you mock mock. Let's go. Here's the spread everybody. Pandan cakes. We got pandan cakes too. Okay. We got a different company. Yeah, we got a different stall. We got a different corporation. We have <laughs> fresh pad thai with prawns. I got some escargot. And escargot for those wondering are Sea snails. Sea snails. snails. Dip it in this dip though. It. Dip it, dip it. Don't do it by itself. But if you were stuck at sea and that was the only thing you had to eat, I guarantee you, you'll eat it. If that was the only thing you had to eat. I'm hungry. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding? Yeah. <laughs> Something more familiar, Pad Thai, right here. I've never had Pad Thai street style. Asa said you have to get street Pad Thai. It'll never be the same after this bite. I know, exactly. That prawn is delicious. I almost ate the tail, that's how good it was. In fact, I will eat the tail. Oh, no. You didn't have to do that. And then we got pandan cake. I will say yours look more like flying saucers. That's what, that's we, what said. we said. Yeah. And mine look more like flowers. Ah. Yeah, ours are flowers. This one, the fried one's better. Of course the fried one's gonna be better. Yeah. Fried one's actually way better. So this is like the Thai version of like Rice Krispies. I'm gonna add the coconut milk to it. Okay. All of it or just some? All of it. All of it. Oh! All of it. Man, that does not look like coconut milk. <laughs> I know uh, Thai people like it really sticky and sweet. And that's not, yeah. <laughs> that's not anything to me. Cheers! <laughs> That mango is really sweet. Do you know how to say this in Thai? Khao niao mong wang. It's really hard to say. Khao niao mong wang. Yeah, khao niao mong wang. Khao niao mong wang. Mango. I bet you he made it real spicy. Papaya salad. Something. All right. I think this is gonna be spicy, guys. You ready? He could have done it a bit spicy, but I think he was trying to be nice. I think he was being he kind. To nice. Us. He was nice about it. It's mm. not that spicy. It's, no, it not. is it's really, not. really medium spicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, not it's a very light one. He was kind to us. What is it about street food that you love so much? I mean, it's, it's a way of bonding. Not sure. Asian culture is all about. Growing up yeah. Colombian, obviously, it's a huge part of our culture too. Latinos absolutely love for food. I mean, we center our celebrations around food, so I felt like I connected heavily with Thailand in that sense. Yeah, I will stop. Stop all the talking. Stop the talking. We're looking at the biggest shrimp alive that I've ever seen. The yellow stuff is the fat. Oh. So this is like really typical um, Thai seafood um, sauce. That sauce is spicy, but I love it. Okay. Oh. The big boys are here. The big boy has go. He oh, cut it in half for us. I feel like he's trying. Yo. I don't know what the difference between a shrimp and a lobster is, but let's just say that this is this is the missing link in closing the gap hey, between hey, the two. Look. Incredible, man. It looks like it's dripping with egg yolk. You wouldn't find a prawn like this in the US. The smaller ones that we're used to in North America. Le 
ladies and gentlemen, we have the last installment from the Tarat Wamom. Night market, all right. <laughs> it is a salt encrusted fish. Um, other than that, I am no expert. I can't tell you anything more. Do you know I how you can tell something. if an Asian guy really likes you? Look. He'll like peel the shrimp for you. So if uh, you're on a date and the guy doesn't peel the shrimp for you, it's a no go. That's how girls like. I haven't had a long term girlfriend. Here's what I got. I'm, I'm gonna do mine real quick. Uh, I have a lettuce. I have a piece of lettuce. I got skin. I got fish. I have vermicelli. It's good. You gotta watch out for the bones, that's all. I thought the fish was gonna be really salty, it's not. It was a nice not level not of salt. Seasons it like perfectly. Like you, yeah. yeah. You guys brought it over from earlier. Alright, this is banana. smashed grilled bananas with the banana sauce with coconut in the banana sauce. Cheers. Also, you know, what is your favorite thing about night markets? I love coming to night markets like on Friday nights when I don't really want to go out and do anything big. I just like come and chill with my friends and eat and shop and do stuff like that. Do you think the night market can be a substitution for the nightclub? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I mean, oh, people, yeah. people, um, people drink here yeah. too. Yo, AB, what was your favorite thing that you ate here? Oh man, I would say the fish is by far my favorite. It's just something else, man. Just like seeing it kind of being skewered like that. Definitely that, uh, the huge prawn. I like lobster, but lobster, it doesn't give you enough meat, but I felt like that prawn was giving me my bang for my buck. I'm not trying to make it, no lobster versus uh, prawn beef. That's not what I'm trying to do. We are gonna be taking you guys through the growing subculture scene. We're talking about barbershops, the hip hop music scene, even streetwear. And who better than to walk us through all this than one of the guys who's responsible for bringing hip hop culture from New York to Thailand, Titanium's very own, The Boy Way. What's up everybody, it's The Boy Way here at Bangkok representing. Welcome to Bangkok, warm welcome to the Fun Brothers, and this is Never Say Cut. This is my first location out of 24, and yeah, come walk with me, I'll show you around. Let's go. Let's check this out. So before, when I first came back from America, and I was living in Thailand, I could never find like a place that could like give me a fade or a shape up. You know, they had barber shops, but it was like a hole in the wall. And that's where I found my first uh, two barbers right here. I've traveled around Asia, and it is hard to find a spot that really gives you good fade, because it's like considered a Western yeah. imported style. We're responsible for keeping the, the new generation fresh. Could you help keep us fresh? Yeah, of course, man. Could you want to come see the office? All right, let's go, check, let's go check out the office real quick. So this is where our daily operations happen, the barbershop stuff. This is the design team. Never Say Cuts is the barbershop. NBSC is the lifestyle. You're creating a whole lifestyle brand right yeah. now. Yeah, I'm living the American dream, but I don't have to be in America. Yeah. You know, I'm also out in the motherland, you know, giving back to the community, giving back to the country, to the people. Just keep continuing to do what, you know, what inspires me and what I love. We are about to hit up the biggest music festival in Thailand and it's going on today right now and we're about to head there right now. So it's like all the local Thai bands, it's like a Woodstock, two days, in the mountains, Khao Yai. We are behind the scenes right now, big mountain festival 2018 Whoa, with Titanium. Man, we are backstage behind the stage right now and uh, I wonder how many thousands of people are out there, let's so go, let's, let's go, go take go. a look. I try to keep it hip hop most of the time, but I do have EDM DJs, trap DJs, etc. etc. So the main Buddha and Ono, we keep it hip hop. So, I mean, we keep the hip hop alive in Southeast Asia. That's what's up, so, man. You guys definitely like changed the, the hip hop scene out here. Yeah. How has it changed since you guys started? Back in the day, there was no hip hop at all, right? And then we bring everything here back from uh, the US, and now. Everything is like, it's getting better and better. People start listening to hip hop more and more. So like, you're gonna see the crowd today. It's gonna be crazy tonight. Now it's coming back, man. Next year, it's gonna be bigger. This is actually one of my favorite Asian songs ever. So hearing it live is like, this is so dope. Like, that's the song that I like. I've been, I've been talking about this on our channel or through the other rap videos. I mentioned this exact song with Titanium years back, like a year and a half ago. 
All right, everybody, that pretty much wraps up our video yes. for the Thai Music Festival. We gotta wrap it up, guys. We're about to head out, man. Yo. But uh, everybody, hopefully you guys got a taste for what it was like, you know, in the Thai music scene. Obviously, you know, talking to the guys from Titanium, very knowledgeable. I'm enjoying Thailand. Shout out. Until next time, we out. Peace. Today is actually a national holiday in Thailand. Yes, it's a national holiday, so everything's closed. So this is the only night market that was open today. I think we did a good choice, though. Yeah. No, I thought it was good. I've had some things I've never seen before in my entire life. But shout out to Constitution Day. I don't know what that is.